Hello dear ladies, um, and finally I was able to upload module number two for you, um, and here I will explain how to practice. So as you can see, the latest three uh, latest videos are uh, module number two. Uh, these are long ones, long tutorials, so take your time to practice this, but very, very, very useful um, and will help improve your technique and you continue learning Tango um, Oriental. So, of course, you start with a warm-up. The uh, recommended warm-up would be this one, work from home workout, which is <clears throat> right over here, right? Um, just take your time to stretch tone before you start um, dancing. Now, now, here for skills part of this lesson, of this module, we have, uh, we will be working on arms and hands. I was putting together this tutorial for a while, for about probably two months, to be honest with you. Uh, I was putting together a uh, basic technique for arms and hands. Nothing complicated. Everything is very simple here in this tutorial, um, but there was so much um, to cover, so much information to cover. So um, I, I just didn't want to miss anything. So that's why I took my time to think about what we will discuss here um, and um, uh, so to not to miss anything important. Uh, so just to show you, give you an idea. We have a lot of interesting stuff here and a lot of uh, useful information for you. Um, so again, it took me a while to put together this uh, tutorial for you and hopefully um, you will find this useful. So what you have to do, you have to watch this one only one time. This is the explanation, but please make sure to watch the explanation because uh, here you will find uh, important information on how to work with your arms and hands. And then after you watch explanation one time, you can proceed to module two, lesson two, this one. This one is called flow with music. Um, so here, what we will do here, we will practice everything that was explained in the previous video. We will just practice with music. So there is good news for you. You, as you can see, I am starting with the, with a the march, right? With just uh, steps. You can practice anyway. If you are, I don't know, if you're not feeling well, you don't want to get off the bed or off the couch. You can even do this sitting down, to be honest. The whole module, the whole lesson. It's about half an hour. So you don't have any reason not to practice. You can do this sitting down. Uh, I've don't know if you can do it lying down, but for sure you can do it sitting down. Very, very good uh, tutorial, very good uh, workout for your arms and hands. And this will really help you develop fluidity in your arms. And this will help you uh, be able naturally use your arms um, beautiful in your dance. Tame, it takes time, of course, this... Uh, natural feeling and uh, natural way of using your arms will take time. What, how this happens? It happens by you practicing and getting some muscle memory, right? So what you can do, you can uh, use this tutorial not only for this program or for this module, just one time thing. I created this one and again, I was planning it for a long time to give you something that you can practice on a regular basis. So now I created this one for you to be able to practice regularly as many times as you can once a week once a month but again even in the future come back to this tutorial and practice because arms and hands is pretty much anything uh takes time to um get to to uh, develop the skill and to develop the um fluidity so this will take time but um you will see how your technique, your arm and hand technique changes when you practice this on a regular basis. We will work more or, uh, on arms and hands, but everything else will be based on this. So you will have to learn 
uh, and practice these moves to be able to continue with other tutorials on arms and hands. Okay, anyway, and of course, part three of module uh, two is Tango Oriental. We continue learning Tango Oriental. This lesson is long. It, um, I was uploading it probably, this was the fifth time I uh, tried to upload it. It would fail upload because it's very long. Uh, so finally, um, I was able to upload it and it's there. Thanks God. I was even thinking I have to cut it, but I didn't want to cut because this is the lesson one lesson that I recorded. So it doesn't, you know, I didn't even know where I can cut it. So it's there for you. I know it's a long one. So you can take your time, two weeks, one week, two weeks, three, three weeks, a month. You will take to learn this. It's okay. Uh, covers a longer portion of dance than the previous one. Uh, basically, with this one, we'll finish uh, the uh, first part of Tango Mix. Uh, again, it's called Tango Mix because I combined um, pieces from different Tango Oriental uh, music compositions into one so this uh, tutorial will complete the first piece uh, that uh, this music this composition starts with okay so uh, again enjoy your practice and I'm looking forward for your homework videos oh I didn't say what your homework videos will be so obviously for tango oriental choreography portion your homework is to um, just to learn this part and to record your dance and send it to me, right? As for arms, as for arms and hands, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I will also put together a Word document with all the moves that I'm using in this tutorial uh, in the explanation part and the flow part. Uh, I will also put together the music and send it to you. Uh, so the first option for homework for arms will be that you play the music uh, or you just play this tutorial on the on your screen and follow me obviously you don't have to record 31 minute video you can just do five minutes and choose any part of this tutorial just not the beginning part okay uh, the part that actually explains the moves that you um use uh in the dance uh so, so th just follow me as you would follow in a studio and record your dance like this Okay, so just choose five minutes of this tutorial, any part, uh, starting from, uh, skip the and um, the kind of warm up part, right? The very beginning is is warm up, so skip this part, and then uh, from the part where I actually start explaining the moves and positions. From there, you can pick any part, beginning, middle, or end of this tutorial, five minutes, or moves that you find really interesting for you. Uh, you can just record you practicing those and send it to me. All right. Again, you can watch me on your screen and just follow me. But uh, at the same time, record uh, so I can see how you're performing the moves. Because I want to make sure that, you know, we, you are doing them correctly from the, the technique perspective. Or I will, um, again, put together a board document with all these moves and send it to you. And... Um, if you want, I can pick the moves for you from the uh, list of moves that I'm using here. And for example, I will send you, please do umbrella arms, uh, please do waterfall arms and, all, and do golden era arms, for example, right? Or, or this is called shimmy arms, what I'm doing right now on the screen. Please do shimmy arms. Um, like uh, we would pick uh, five, ten moves that you can just uh, practice, record yourself and send to me. So that's another way you can do your homework um, on arms. OK, but again, if you want to record 30 minute video on how you're practicing this one. Beautiful. Great. You know, I will be only glad to see your practice, your full practice. So, OK, thank you so much. Um, and uh, again, I'm looking forward for all your homeworks.